unfortunate. I have no experience with getting too pumped up with too much adrenaline. Plus, I'm pretty low key guy. When you throw a ten thousand dollar interception listening to a certain song, that song is wrecked for you it's for gone. the rest of your life. <laughs> That's a really I good cannot point. listen to Little Uzi Bird anymore because I threw a ten thousand dollar interception listening to that. So that, it's. <laughs> that, that's a good perspective right there. I never oh, even thought of that. You got to be careful. You might jinx your favorite song of all time I, messing around in one of these tournaments. I think about that once a day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some fun here, boys, huh? All right, while we got a moment, RG, playbooks for these two guys, what are we looking at? You got my guy, Safa. You see him right there, locked in, speaking of laser focus. He's running the West Coast offensive playbook and the Buffalo Bills defensive playbook. My guy, Kevin Jones, a.k.a. Sixth Sense, he's running the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook and the New York Giants defensive playbooks. First down and 10, and the only player here in the last chance qualifier using Michael Vick over Lamar Jackson. And look at that right there. Does that look familiar to you? Is he that's, himself? That's Safa Jones. If you didn't know, he has a coach item in the game. You can go and buy that item in Ultimate Team. But how surreal does that need to be? You're here playing on ESPN2, and you got your player model on the sidelines trying to coach you to victory. That's got to be pretty cool for a gamer. That is amazing. When you made it, you made it. <laughs> when you made it, you made it. Nick dropping back on second and seven. Moving around the pocket, deep down the field. How about Julio Jones with a one-handed catch? Did you see how patient he was in the pocket? Just sitting in there, going through his reads, going through his progressions. Heat was coming. He didn't care. He stood in there, baited him to jump down on that drag, hit the post on the backside. The former Falcon throwing to the current Falcon, Victor Jones. Uh, only an ultimate team. And remember, that's a good point, Nick. If you're just tuning in with us, these guys aren't playing with the real Steelers and their real Atlanta Falcons. These guys constructed their team in much salary cap mode. As you see Vic running around. And the best way we can explain salary cap mode, we call it, it's like a daily fantasy lineup where you have a big pool of players. You have a cap, each player has a cap associated with them. And you need to build a roster that's at or under the salary cap. And that's what these guys did within this mode. And that player pool consists of current NFL superstars and old NFL legends like Michael Vick. So if you're wondering why is Mike Vick at quarterback uh, for the Falcons, that's why. It's not the real Falcons. It's a team that these guys constructed. Second and 15 after the sack by Ron Parker. Vic, middle of the Got field. It. Randy Ooh, Ooh, what a hit. hit defensively to pry that ball free. Sean Taylor, he clicked on, hit the hit stick, separated the man from the ball. That is great defense. Third and 15, not a good spot. And if you're Safa, you need to be able to put up points against Six Cents. He didn't spend any cap on his the defensive side of the ball. Six Cents pretty much spent his entire cap on offense, so the defense isn't the strong suit of his game. And if you're Safa, you need to take advantage of that early. A stop here for Six Cents would be detrimental to Safa's chances to win this game. Needs to turn this first drive into points. Look for Julio. They drop him back over the middle. That's Randy Moss. Spin move to the outside, and he's got a first down and more. The stick skills of Musafa Jones picking up the first down. What a spin move on third and 15. He threw about a six-yard slant drag. He had to make one person miss. As you watch the replay, here it is. He throws a three-yard pass. It turns into a 20-yard gain because of that spin move. Randy Moss getting sticky. That's high-level John Madden football right there. You don't need to try to get it all back in one play. Take what the defense gives you. Try to make plays, and good things will happen. Good example of that right there from Safa Jones. And we, oh, oh, the one-hander. Holy moly. Oh. oh, man, he's rocking the jersey. He's rocking him on the virtual gridiron. Look at the focus, RG. Oh, man, he's locked in. And this is a guy, man, he was in this situation last year. He needed to make a deep run in the club championship to make the Madden ball last year. He made that run in a do or die situation. And here we are one year later, Safa finds himself back in the same situation where he's in a do or die game and he needs to get it done right here, right now, if he wants to keep his Madden season alive. A little drop play, Joe makes the room on the outside. No. Nobody's gonna catch him. Joe's into the end zone, the first touchdown of this LC. Q, it goes to Mustafa Jones. That is such a good play call. When people are down the red zone, they run cover four. They're dropping everyone. They don't want to give up passes in the end zone. So you call a draw to counter that. If you call a draw to counter that, they're all going to push back. Your defense will not be ready for that draw play. Break it outside, easy six. Joe Mixon, the most popular running back used here in the last chance qualifier, and he showed why with the speed around the edge. He's a big Madden fan, too, by the way. Joe no. Mixon. 
And now here it is, Sixth Sense. We told you his family at home, his uncle Jason, his mom Carmen, the rest of the Jones clan back at home, Easter Sunday. Now they get to watch Sixth Sense put his first offensive drive together to try to get himself back in this ball game. I oh, got a nice full belly from that Easter dinner, a little ham. Mm. Sit down on the couch and see if your boy can pull out a spot in the Madden Bowl. As these guys set up their audibles. And Strafe, I was going to ask you, we saw Mustafa Jones God, flipping God, the play a lot. God. What does that do uh, for an the offense and a defense? It puts so much pressure on the defense. You want to set up your defense and for one side of the bunch that you're expecting. When you flip it like he just did, now you got to reset it up real quickly before he snaps the ball. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense to get their adjustments correct. Lamar Jackson at the helm. He's going to take off right side, slide down at the 27-yard line. You see that in real NFL, too. You have people formation shifting in the NFL. That puts so much pressure on defense to make sure they get their correct checks in. The Rams are really good at that. Patriots are really good at that. They end up, getting up giving up easy touchdowns because their defense isn't set and ready for all the different things they're going to see. Detroit! Detroit! Go on, go on. Second out of five go on, go on. for six cents. And Safa's going to take a timeout. Literally, Safa taking a timeout in the game. I, if I'm Safa, I'm purposely calling timeouts just so you can get a look at my player model on, on, on the sideline. That's a little too swaggy. That would, that would mess with my mental a little yeah. bit if I, my opponent had his actual player model in the game. RG would be challenging every play just to see his coach throw the red flag. Absolutely. Muzafa's flipping his defense with the offense. Second down and five. Lamar Jackson. Good pocket. Right up the seam. What a throw. What a dot to the 48-yard line, picking up 21. So what I'm noticing, RG, that Mustafa's plan, he's taking his slot cornerback and he's matting him up on the one of the receivers every single every single play. He's trying to take away one receiver with that slot corner. I think it's Ronnie Lott. Let's see if, let's see if Sixth Sense recognizes that. Dropping back to pass once again as Sixth Sense. Deep down the middle of the field, has a man. big hit, but he holds on to it at the 20-yard line. What a catch, a big play down the field. Oh man, that's just one of those 50-50 balls. You throw it to your receiver over the middle, he's gonna get cracked. Question is, can he hold on to it? And right there, Tyreek holds on to it for six cents. And remember, in Madden football, you don't gotta be as scared about throwing the ball over the middle, because there are no injuries in this mode like there are in real life. So you can get a little bit more reckless with the way you toss the rock around. Good defense. Jackson's just gonna have to chuck that one away, but it's great defense, but again, a, a real heady call there by six cents just to throw the ball away. Yeah, he didn't he didn't have anything there. He didn't make the mistake even worse by just giving throwing away, play for second down. Instead of being in second and fifteen, he's in second and ten. A unique view here, taking a look defensively at what Safa Jones is doing. Driving back six cents. Drops it off underneath. Not a whole lot there picking up two. We're going to have a big play right here, boys. Third and eight. If Sixth Sense doesn't pick up this first down, he's really going to have to consider just taking the three points. It's a big play right here. Gun, 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 gun. Huge third and eight. See if he flips, flips it to the strong side. Yep, flips it to the wider side. Gives himself a little more space over there. Look for a post maybe. Safa keeps a spy on the field. That defender right there. He's checking if he's he usually team. keeps him in a QB spy trying to contain the quarterback. This time he sends him. Odell Beckham with a catch, but a great tackle at the 13-yard line. Decision time for six cents. Well, looks like he's going for it. I kick three. And I, I think what it is is six cents has spent so much of his cap towards the offensive side of the ball that he feels he needs to score touchdowns when you're that committed to offense. So it probably puts a little bit more pressure on him to go for it in this situation and get himself seven. Looks like oh, he no, has three. decided Listen. to settle for three. Ball is down, kick is up. Six cents on the board, 7-3 ball here. I think that's the right call there. You don't want to come away from that first drive getting nothing. That's so demoralizing. Kind of makes you kind of press the rest of the game trying to catch up from that lost possession. What's going to be rough for him now, though, is again, six cents, very limited personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Down four points right here. He's going to need to keep Safa out of the end zone with that deflated defense to prevent this from being two possession ball game. This is going to be a very important drive in this ball game. There's only so many possessions when you're playing five minute quarters. Each possession is as big as the last. Nearing the end of the first quarter here in the second 
of our last chance qualifier games. A spot in the Madden Bowl on the line. Vic, right side. That's Shannon Sharp down to the 29-yard line. But you can expect Sopper to probably take this down to the second quarter. He likes to play a slow style of Madden football, control the clock. I'd be very surprised if we saw him snap the ball again before the end of this first quarter. Reminder, if you missed our earlier game, some serious came out on top over free the Penguins to qualify for the Madden Bowl. But there is one spot on the line. As we have reached the with it with the belt, a championship, and a huge cash infusion and a spot in the Madden Bowl, you got to be real happy for that young man. He deserved it with that run at the Madden Challenge. I don't Challenge. know if anybody would have put money on Kratobin coming away with a belt with that field at the Madden Challenge. That would have been a heck of a bet to make before the game. Hey, that's what we love about eSports. You could be one day a guy that's just playing at home, right on his couch, nobody knows your name, and before you know it, you're on ESPN2, hoisting a belt, coming home with that cash money. Second out and six. Oh, how about the catch? Mike Vick is putting the ball where only his receivers can get it. A huge play to cut it to third and two. Nice spot here from Musafa, third and two. He can take the flat. He can take the running back route out of the backfield. We'll see what he does here. I doubt he's going to run the ball. I don't think he believes too much in that. Um, we'll see. But RG, I've noticed Six Sense defense, he just wants to send five, give up the flats. That's what the plan is so far. I'm going to see if he's going to make any adjustments. Maybe start using some hard flat zones, take away that little flat pass. I would go, I'd go crazy giving up, the hard, or giving up that flat pass every single time. Well, speaking with them, you make a really good point right there, Strafe, and I'll wait till after this play because it's big. Speaking, oh, big hit right yeah, there. Hit. Speaking to six cents, he said he's so deflated on the defensive side of the ball that he's really relying on getting goal line red zone stance. He knows he's not going to really be able to make players go for and out, so he doesn't want to give up those big play touchdowns, make his opponent work, and then hope he can get a stop there in the red zone. And it's a real bend but don't break style defense, and it seems like he's committed to that. First and 10 now Watch for Musafa Jones. Watch for Sharp in the flat. Looks like he's blitzing off the left side to take a look defensively what Sixth Sense is doing. Look at right side. Can he make the user play? What a click on and a big play by Sanders. He clicked on, hit right bumper to knock that ball out with Deion Sanders. Deion, one of the goats of all time, covering people. He's got him back there at safety so he can cover a lot of space with his speed and range. Um, good play by Sixth Sense. And straight for taking a look at the defense here, give us a little idea of what the people at home are looking at. He just switched to dollar. It looks like he's setting a dollar cover three blitz at him with a looping linebacker. Really good defense. I love this defense. I ran in a lot in clubs. See if he can pick it up. Vic dropping back. Looking right side. Light can't keep up as a big first down picked up by Safa. I think Safa, you can tell, he just looks so comfortable on offense. He knows that Sixth Sense doesn't have the personnel to get pressure on defense. And Safa able to just sit back there with the Vikings, pick and choose his reads, and continue to move this ball. But again, this is the way Sixth Sense plans to play defense. Be interesting to see who makes the first mistake here. 7-3, Vic over the middle. Julio Jones, oh. a mistake! He clicked on too late, RG. So he clicked on, but he went for the pick, but he sure went just for the tackle. It'd be first and goal at the seven. Instead, he gave up seven What's points up, on a nice up? pass. I'm, I'm just so impressed by Safa Jones, a.k.a. Jamal Daniels from Atlanta, Georgia, for the second year in a row, is playing a game where his Madden season is on the line. He needs to come through in the clutch, and so far, so good for Musafa Jones as you see him dial it up right here. And Mike Vick, the lefty. Is it the adjustment playing with the left hand? Oh no, man, that! I did it for about a Let's year go. and a half, and it was Let's hard go. to use the Vick. Like, it is a completely different game with a left-handed quarterback. Definitely an adjustment. But right now, that Michael Vick to Julio Jones connection looking pretty good for Safa Jones. See how Six Sense can respond. And I want to explain why it's so much different. When you're used to playing with a righty for so many years like I have, you're used to every that time you get flushed out of the pocket, you want to roll to your right to your strong side. Now when you have Vic, you can't roll to the right like that because he's a lefty and he's got to throw a cross body. Detroit! Detroit! 14 to 3. Six cents. Needing points. Hopefully a touchdown on this drive to just settle down a little bit. Play action pass, Lamar Jackson. 
Has a man deep down the field, a and a beautiful throw by Lamar. Oh my goodness, and that's good patience right there from my guy Kevin Jones. He rolls out, he sees Safa rolling with the receiver, he waits for him to get a step, gets the pass over top to use the user defender. That is extremely good execution right there by Six Sense. He definitely used his Six Sense right there on that one. 243 and counting in the first half. Six cents down, two scores, but a touchdown here could be monumental. A spot in the Madden Bowl on the line. Winner wants to play the biggest tournament of the year is Jackson. I love the defense Mustafa's playing. He's taking that slot corner, like I said earlier, and he's manning him up on one of those bunch side receivers so he doesn't have to worry about trying to use or defend a corner or a post, and they can focus on the shorter routes. Really good plan coming into this game, and he's doing really well with it. Second down and 10 after right, no gain look run by Lamar is. Jackson. See how he flips his defense with the offense? Smart. He'll over, take this down to the two minute warning. He'll take the snap. Jackson waiting, looking, nobody Whoa. open. That's good defense right there. And that quarterback spy is just causing all kinds of havoc for Lamar Jackson right there. And when we say quarterback spy, what that means is Safa Jones is taking one of his Detroit, defenders and Detroit. saying, your only assignment is to keep your eyes on that quarterback and make sure he doesn't scramble for big gains. Detroit, That's a really Detroit. good tactic. It's something you have to do when you're going up against guys like Mike Vick and Lamar Jackson. Third down at seven. No spy on the field. Nobody open good though, defense. early pressure. Good defense, you see what he did there? He's been manning up his slot corner every single time. Now he blitzed him, got him flushed out of the pocket. He couldn't stand in there, make his reads. Great play call by Musafa on third and seven. Looks like a 52 yard field goal attempt from the right hash mark. He got oh, the animation, oh, but he got the kickoff. Oh. And it is good, and boy, how huge would that have been if Saf was able to block that kick. Oh man, for those at home that don't know what happened, to block a kick in Madden, you need to time it perfectly. As soon as your opponent tries to kick it, you need to jump that snap. And that only gives you a chance to get the block animation. Safa got lucky, got the block animation, but wasn't able to execute it. Look at that. He's supposed to be able to dive and block that kick. He messed it up. Poor stick work. And he knows he just gave up a free opportunity to take points away from Sixth Sense. That could be a huge play. Keep that in mind. We'll see if that comes back to bite Safa in the butt later on. See if that affects his psyche at all, as that was, could have been a game ceiling play this early, being able to block that. And remember, Safa was in the Madden Classic in the final 16, making a deep run in that tournament, and he got his extra point blocked when he scored the game-tying drive, which he thought he was going to overtime to get Master Gamer. So, block kicks have not gone his way this season. Julio Jones ain't fair. He's not he fair at all. He's the best receiver on the planet. And it's not going to help when you're sixth sense and you didn't get yourself any personnel to go up against the Julio Jones, where you had a guy like some serious who had Jalen Ramsey mm -hmm. out there, Deion Sanders, Sean Taylor. He gave himself the personnel to stop that type of receiver. That's not something Sixth Sense invested in when he built this team. Minute 13 and counting. Safa has two timeouts remaining. Vic looks underneath. Andre Roberts. As he will be taken down at the 46 yard line, picking up eight. Here's the problem right now. He needs to make a decision. He either has to manually cover the backside receiver or manually cover the, the slot receiver who's on a post over the middle. He cannot guard both. Six Sense is trying to do, guard both, and he's getting dotted up and down the field. He's got to take one of, one of his players, man him up on that backside, or man him up on the post, and then use the other one. Right now, he's just letting him do whatever he wants. And again, when I talk to him about something like that, Strafen, he said he just doesn't feel comfortable putting his defenders in man coverage because they don't have the ratings to keep up. And we're really seeing his personnel decisions impact his ability to stop Safa Jones right now. 44 seconds remaining in the first half. Opportunity to, for Safa to look at these distance. Two, look at these Same two pair backs right there hiding behind each other. Looking over the middle, that's Julio one more time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Vic Julio Jones connection is working. 
I'm putting two guys on Julio at this point. I don't care. Instead of blitzing those two linebackers, I'm putting two guys on him. I'm making him make a different read than that play over and over again. It's like you want him, you want to make him beat you left-handed. He does. That's his favorite play. That's his favorite route. Make him beat him, beat you left-handed. Make him throw something else. I agree. 26 seconds and counting. Safa Jones using all sorts of clock. He wants to be the last person to touch the ball in the first half. He's got him. Good Drop pressure. Him Over the middle, Julio Jones. Oh. Oh. The defender finally oh. makes a defensive play Edward on Julio Jones. Edward Reed. Edward Reed, one of the best safeties of all time. Great ball skills. Basically a wide receiver playing safety. Showed right there. He broke on the ball, broke it up. A lot of safeties in, in Madden and in the NFL don't do that. They might break on the ball and hit somebody, but they don't jar the ball loose by actually using their hands. And that physical ultimate legend, Ed Reed, has been one of the best budget players we've seen on these guys' roster. He doesn't cost you a lot of cap. He's only 90 overall, but he has 97 speed. Probably one of six sets' best defenders he has on the field. Good play. Forced to go underneath. Look at those numbers. 14 to 17, 214 yards past the ball to touchdown in the first half. Surgical, surgical performance. And once again, he's He's basically running one or two plays in regards to he's got a post over the middle with a backside drag. I hope Six Sense at halftime adjusts to that, makes him choose, or makes a different setup to his defense to make him make a little bit harder of a read. As the kick is up, it is good, and that will take us to halftime. 17 to 6. Safa on top of a full half of Madden football. First spot in the Madden Bowl. Defense, really good on defense as well. It looks like he's got a really good game plan going into this game. I'm curious to see how Six Cents adjusts to what happened in the first half. Um, he's going to start off on offense here. We'll see if he can get seven. Oh, he might oh, he's got, got, oh, right he's got, he's got a lot of room. A touchdown. Saving tackle the 47 yard line. Oh, man. That would have been huge for Six Cents. You need some momentum. You get the open and kickoff. You almost take it to the cribbo. Nonetheless, though, he needs to feed off of this momentum to get it into Safa Jones territory to start off the second half with your high-powered offense. This is where you need to go down the field, get yourself a tutty, and put the pressure back on the veteran Safa Jones. Halfback Wayne was sharp up the middle. How about these two almost special team plays, by the way? Amazing, but I'm geeking out. He's got Shannon, Sh or Shannon Sharp at running back you know what's funny is how he, he has that in the notes here that i got from him he said watch out gee i might have a little shannon sharp at halfback every once in a while he does have that energizer ability which means when that sharp breaks a tackle he gets a little energy boost to help him get some more yards after that first broken tackle second out of seven for six cents dropping back with lamar jackson dropping back with lamar jackson throwing it away with lamar jackson i keep talking about pocket presence he didn't get yards on that play because he ran out of the pocket when he didn't need to. It's such a hard thing to do, but you got to stand in there, go through your reads, either take a sack, don't do that. Some smoking from the pro right there. I mean, this guy's already a Madden ball, Detroit! so. Detroit! He tells you something, he gives you a tip, you better listen. Third down and seven. Six cents, needing a conversion, needing to keep this drive going. And his right, hopes for a Madden Bowl berth alive. Play clock down to two, down to one. Just gets the snap off. Waiting, looking, stepping up. Has a man left side. Nice what pass. a throw to Randy Moss. Picking up a first down. He was so patient in the pocket that time. After I just said he wasn't the play before, he just sat there, stood up, saw Moss on the sideline. Great dot on third down. That's such a tough thing to do for a... A, a novice Madden player step up in the pocket with the, the pocket closing around you. It's hard for NFL quarterbacks to do it in real life. It's such a hard thing that's such an important attribute when you play quarterback in either Madden or real life. What a conversion there for six sets. Can he keep it going? Good defense. Waiting, waiting. Defense. Nobody open. He's going to have to throw this ball away once again. Mustafa's defense playing strong. Nonetheless, though, if you're six cents right now, you're already in field goal range. Field goal will make this a one possession ball game. A touchdown will really put some pressure on Safa. Now's not a time to hit, hit the panic button. You're still very much in this ball game, but you need to do right, something and turn this drive at the points. A spot in the Madden Bowl on the line. Dropping back. Looking over the middle. What a throw. Down to the three yard line. Beautiful throw from Lamar Jackson and G. Not only is there a spot in the Madden Bowl, there's a little bit of money on the line here in this game. 
Yeah, all these players have already made $2,500 for showing up to this tournament. The winner of this game is going to guarantee themselves five grand with the chance to turn that five grand into 40 grand in the Madden Bowl. So definitely a nice little cash infusion if you could get the W in this game. And up to the fullback. That's Shannon Sharp. He stays oh, on his oh, feet man. and gets down inside the one. Almost punched that in the end zone. Shannon Sharp. What a beast. He ran through three people on that as a tight end. So I, I will refrain from doing my Shannon Sharp. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just he's, he's so great on TV. So great. Second and goal once again out in this goal line. Three tight end formation. He's going to throw the ball. Has a man. Oh, what a play call. Six cents back in this game. Ice in his veins. And you know back at home, Uncle Jason, Mama Carmen, and the rest of the Jones family after Easter dinner got to be home going nuts because six cents won't go anywhere. He's still very much in this ball game. And boy, we got ourselves a good one right here on Easter Sunday. Look at the focus of that young man. All six cents trying to do on that drive is get a touchdown and keep up with the Joneses, the Musafa Jones, now with the ball back. Big drive right there. Coming away with seven. Everyone's thinking run here. Everyone's thinking yeah. run. Perfect play call. I love it. I love how he switched it up, did something unexpected. He got a nice easy seven because that, of it. That's one of those play calls. If it, it When it works, it's phenomenal. But if you mess that up, you're going to remember it for a long time. That was a gutsy play call from six cents. But it pays off. And now Safa Jones has some real pressure on him right here. Because if six cents can somehow will himself to a stop, he'll get the ball back with a chance to take the lead with his high-powered offense. But he needs his defense to come up big, and there it is! Down goes Vic Ron Parker, the second sack of the day for him. And Musafa Jones may be feeling the field tilt the other way. He picked up his blitz the entire first half. Maybe there's an adjustment that six cents made to get that pressure, get in there quicker and better. We'll see if he goes back to it. Oh, he comes out in dollar now. He's switching up his defense again. Eagle, Eagle. Stop, stop. Probably cover three second, on defense. Second out and 16 for Musafa Jones with a four point lead. Vic. Good defense. Nobody open downfield. Look at Pennick on the field. He finds Julio Jones. Boy, Julio has been huge for Musafa Jones today. Strafe, when you're talking about these defenses, what's the difference between, say, a, a nickel look and a dollar look? Dollars uh, get, brings one more DB on the field, and it's a little bit more spread out. It's bad against the run, but it's better against the pass. So when you see him switch formations like that, he's trying to confuse him, cause some confusion, make him throw right to you. It's a good idea. I think it's one of the adjustments he probably thought about at halftime. How about this? A key third down for six cents. Uh oh. Looks the oh, ball. Oh, it's oh, it's 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 oh. What, a, what a decision there to throw it to a fully covered Andre Roberts. Oh, man. You see him, Kevin Jones, saying, come on. He finally baited Safa. And when I say bait, he got Safa to throw right where go. six senses user defender oh, was oh. going for the interception. And now he's going for it on fourth and sixth biggest play of the game. That was a great user, by the way. Great user by six cents. This is huge, boys. Shotgun formation. A, a crucial play here Stand with under play. two minutes to go in the third quarter. Vic. Sending the dogs. Back. The blitz picked Good up. Good defense. Nice, but nobody oh. is open. He rolls out of the pocket. It's he going to be the tackle. The tackle is made. And six cents oh, has all the momentum right now. Did you see how long he was running in coverage with that user defender taking routes away? Oh my goodness, when you need to come up big and you need to have it, Kevin Jones. Back to back, amazing user defensive plays by Six Sense. Unbelievable stop there. And now only down four, he gets great field position at the 32 yard line. Lamar Jackson at the helm for Six Sense. Takes the snap, he's gonna be looking to throw it once again. Nobody open, gets out of the pocket. Good defense. He's going to take a hit at the sideline. That's probably not something you want to do with your quarterback. No, and I noticed something else Mustafa's doing. He's, he's using a mid-read yellow zone right in the middle of the field with one of his linebackers. What that is doing is it's taking away that middle post. Kind of what he's doing on offense. He knows the game plan to stop it when he's on defense. Absolutely. You don't want to run it if you can't stop it. Mustafa Jones can stop that post route over the middle. Minute 30 and counting. I'll tell you, Safa's put a lot into this. When I got here earlier this morning, 
he was on the phone with Ghost and Trini, who are already in the Madden Ball, just going over the game plan for Six Sense. Good defense. But I don't know if they expected Six Sense to fight this hard. This young man will not go away, and he is determined to get over that hump. Because remember, it's been a three-year journey for this young man since he's been back on the main stage. But you want to talk about a way to maybe calm yourself down if you're Mustafa Jones. Getting a stop here on this drive, even after you got stopped on your drive, could make everything feel a little better. This is huge, third and 11. It could potentially be two down territory for six cents as well. A play action. Look at left side, has a man, that is sharp. Good tackle by Jones and a fourth down decision. What, what that read tells me, as usually you would think six cents would go for it on fourth down if he's willing to check down, but I think he's just gonna take his three, make, try to make this a one point ball game. There it is. On the 28 yard line, a 45 yard field goal attempt. No block animation this time, it's up. It is good, it's a one point ball game for a spot in the Madden Bowl. Getting three there was huge. Getting something out of that was huge. He's back in the game like you guys said, and now he's gotta lock up one more time. We'll see if Mustafa starts feeling the pressure now that he's on offense and it's such a close game now. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Mustafa Jones getting the ball back off that four and out on his first drive of the second half. Can he put together a monstrous drive here? He knows what's on the line. Dropping back is Vic. Quick throw to the flat, missed tackle. Sharp shakes off another tackle. Big play to the 43-yard line. That's frustrating on defense. When you turn a little flat pass and allow that to turn into a big first down that's just bad tackling, sometimes it's bad user. Nonetheless, you can't give up too many of those if you're Kevin. You gotta make Safa work harder than that. Musafa will never miss that read on first and 10, throwing that to tight end flat route. He will never miss it. Him and Ghost are like machines. Me, if I try to throw that pass, I'm throwing an interception. <laughs> Guarantee it. Hey, you're throwing a touchdown to the other team. I, got I do all the time. It's really easy. First and 10 for Vic. Pocket. Good Look pocket. up the middle of the field. Randy Moss. Oh, Randy is dandy for Musafa Jones. As he's going to be able to run this clock out. And we will only have five minutes from our full Madden Bowl field. It's a one-point ball game. Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandma to tune in here to the Last Chance Qualifier. Oh, and a chance for $40,000 on the line. This is it, boys. Fourth down, like you said, only one spot left. Your whole Madden season on the line. Eight months of hard work, the late nights, the early mornings. You being tired, you laughing, ignoring the family sometimes, ignoring your girlfriend. It all comes down to this. Been there, RG. Been there. <laughs> Driving back to pass on first down. Jones looks wow. left side. Huh? Joe Mixon, the running back, right up the seam to the 13-yard line. Safa's feeling it here in the fourth. Nice little baby wheel out of the backfield, wide open. He had another route pulling away the zones from that wheel. Great read by Musafa. Is he snacking? Is he snacking on something? I don't know if he's snacking, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind snapping on one of those Madden Ball hats that you saw up there on the main stage. Only 16 of those getting handed out. And there's only one left up there on that stage. Let's see who's going to be able to pick that up and punch their ticket in. Stepping up with Vic, back in the end oh, zone, high pass. Great defensive play. That would have been a tough play for Julio, but we've seen him make tougher. That is a risky play right there. I mean, he threw that in traffic, and when you throw in traffic, the ball can get bobbled around, a defender can intercept it off the tip. And if you're Safa Jones, I understand you want a touchdown right here, but you have to be careful because a turnover would be detrimental to your chances of winning this ball game. See if he adjusts to the wheel out of the backfield. Here comes that wheel again. It's been wide open. Coming back, he's he's Nick, the pressure. pressure off the edge. He shakes oh, off the sack him. and finds Randy Ooh. Moss. Boy, Michael Vick making a huge play. What might have been one of the biggest plays of the game so far. Speaking of huge plays, how about six cents? Clicks onto the defender and lights up Randy Moss with that hitch stick, trying to cause a fumble. And now we have ourselves another big play 
in this very important ball game. It's third and two right here. This will determine if Safa needs to settle for three or if he can get the touchdown and really put the pressure on six cents. If you stop him here on defense, just six cents, you're feeling wonderful. Watch the fullback dive right up the middle here. Shannon Sharp. Six cents, he prepared defense for this. Let's see if it works. Hand up to Sharp. Good the team. tacklers are there. It's fourth down as Sharp only picked up one. He needed two. And that's how the preparation works with these players. One of the notes I have on six cents is he said, I got to be ready for that near formation fullback dive in short yardage situations. I cook something up that I think can stop it. And right there, that preparation paid wonders for six cents. RG, people don't want to sit in practice mode practicing fullback dive defense, but that's what separates Madden players from just casual players and people that can't compete on the stage. You need to be prepared for every single situation. That just might have saved him the game. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well said, Ryan. 20 to 16, a tale of two halves. It was all Safa at halftime, but Six Sense has fought back here in the second half and has a chance to put together a drive for a spot in the Madden Bowl. And if you're Six Sense, this is where you want to be. You knew your defense wasn't going to win you this ball game, but they've kept them in it, and now you get the ball in the hands of your high-powered offense. This is where you're known to make your living. And now you have a chance to go down the field and get vintage. Well, halfback win. We've seen this a couple times with Shannon Sharp at the uh, halfback position. Not a lot of success with it. I'd get back in that gun bunch real quick. I think that's what he's going to go to right here. Yeah. Get back in gun bunch. Make a nice read like he's been doing. This is the guap drive, RG. Yeah, we, we do. This could be, very much well be the guap drive for six cents. I mean, he still does have three timeouts, so if he was to get stopped True. here, the ball game would not be over, but we're getting darn close to Guap Drive territory. And when we say Guap Drive, what we mean by that is the drive where you're going to make all of your money, the drive to win the game. Jackson up the there. middle. No spy, no problem for Lamar Jackson. Pick up the first down, and by the way, that clock starting to become an issue. He just sent a little blitz at him. Blitz didn't come through. He stepped up in the pocket, took off. Nice offensive play. Can you imagine the pressure these guys are going through right now, guys? In a four-point ball game, your season on the line, a chance in Madden ball, a chance for Madden supremacy. What? Watch Musafa to this. Watch Musafa use a spy now. He's got a spy on the field. Play action. Lots of time though, rolling out. Good defense. Nothing really open. Good defense. He's gonna try to get around the edge. He'll pick up maybe one, 2.26 to go in the game. Mustafa missed his read, his tight end read, I think, on the on the flat pass where he didn't want to throw it. He had him, but he decided just to kind of take off and run with it. Detroit! Detroit! Maybe he was scared of a fumble. Sean T's out there, Sean Taylor. You want to be careful when that Sean Taylor's up there. And remember, we're playing in salary cap mode. This is a mode where they pick their team. Uh, they build their team based off of current NFL superstars and former NFL legends. That's why you're seeing Lamar Jackson in a Pittsburgh Steeler uniform right now. You can't ask for more than a four-point game here. Nearing the two-minute warning. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. He gets back, and he finds a man over the middle. One stick work from the quarterback. Just finding a way to stay behind the line of scrimmage. He looked like he was going to take off. He breaks the pocket, steps back, playmakers receiver up the field. Nice 30-yard chunk right there. And again, what he did with that playmaker here is he simply flicked oh. the right stick up, and that sent the drag route up to the middle of the field. Mustafa's body language. You see that, RG? No, no. He I looks dejected. It. And this is the guy. He's the rally here. And he's known for Detroit! having. Detroit! I don't, want, I don't know how to say it, but he's an emotional guy. He's usually into it. His body language usually tells you he's focused, ready to rock. He, look, he could be feeling those nerves right now yeah. if the sixth sense is moving. Two minutes to go. One berth remaining in the biggest turn of the year in the Madden Bowl. The defense coming up big for Musaf on first down. And I've talked to you a lot about six cents has the family at home watching cheering him on Safa already has his family at home watching as well his mom sheila his aunt val his little sisters minaya maya and his girlfriend Raisa are all at home watching cheering him on as well on this easter sunday is he going to be able to get vintage for him needs a defensive stop right here four point game but six cents with the ball Second and ten. Good defense. Oh, he's screen. gonna go down a big there he's down. Back. Taylor up the middle. He's back. And he's back. That's the body language we're used to seeing from Safa. But I think he sent six there, RG. He was like, I'm not letting him get out of this pocket. I'm not letting him extend the play. 
I'm going to make him make a read. And that's what you got to do. You see your opponent scrambling around, having time to use the playmaker yep. mechanic. The way you throw him Detroit! off is you send Detroit! the heat, pressure burst pipes. Detroit! Detroit! And now it's a third and 19. Ah! Safa can almost taste the victory if he can get a defensive stand. Big play here. Nice throw underneath. I really love that play, uh -oh. though, just getting six yards back. Oh, no, but this is I don't good. know. I don't know. It's so. It's still fourth and 13. I would have been a little bit more patient there. He's still, six cents, still has all three timeouts, as you see right there. So if he gets stopped right there, he'll have a chance to play chance. defense. But this is huge, RG. Oh, he doesn't want to have to deal with that. Talk about what could be a... Series defining play. Oh, He's sending the dogs. Oh, for Mustafa Jones defensively. Mustafa sending the dogs. These players' palms have Thank to be dripping right now. I'm sweaty up here. Fourth and 13. Taking the snap. He's got him deep. He's got him deep. He's got a man over the top. That's Tyrell Look at the crowd. They are going crazy. Six cents uses his six cents. Ice in his veins. About to make it a three point ball game. Safa with only 53 seconds. I got goosebumps, I got, boys. I was about to say, I got goosebumps up here. I'm shaking. 53 seconds oh left, though. Safa has all three timeouts. Only needs a field goal to tie it, but how about the guts from six cents to make that throw on fourth down? That's such a mistake on defense. You cannot play man press with no one over the top. Oh, he's got, he's got room. Oh, he's stepped out. The good thing for Safa. One more time, take a look at this. Look, on the outside, he's got a press quarterback. You can't see, he's on the right side of the screen. He pressed Sean Taylor and man press against Tyree Kill. Nobody over the top, easy touchdown. Be a touchdown, and look at it, he knew it. Six cents knew it, show some emotion. The good news for Safa is this is only a three-point ball game, so he still has time to go down and tie it or maybe go for the win. You talked about guap drives, Nick. This is the guap drive. 49 seconds remaining. One possession game. A broadcaster's dream coming down to the wire. That's Vic got him. back middle. Oh! He's still got a chance, but oh my gosh, what defense. Oh. He adjusted to the post and Musafa missed the read. He knows it, look at him, he knows. He missed that read, he was late. You think this will be an Easter Sunday the Jones family ever forgets? That was oh. such a good user play by Six Sense. Oh, These man. Midwestern boys have fight. Iowa, stand up. Iowa, stand up. And Atlanta, Georgia, get behind your boy Safa because he's not done yet. He's got all three of those. Oh, he's on his 20, 15, 10, 5. He's tasting the man ball. And six sets with what may be one of the best second half performances we have seen all year. It's been three or four years in the making. This young 23 year old Kevin Jones from Keokok, Iowa. Oh has gone through so much adversity, has been knocking on the door of a live event time and time again. And it looks like on this Easter Sunday, this young man will finally get over the hump and punch himself a ticket into the Madden Bowl. He may have been knocking on the door, but he has kicked it down here in the LCQ with a monstrous play. Finally, Shannon Sharp at halfback pays off for six sets. Breaks one tackle, that's what, that preparation, knowing he could get Shannon Sharp at, full, at running back to do that play, to win himself the game, amazing. Poor Safa Jones, I mean, you're very happy for six cents, but for those that don't know, this guy Safa Jones puts a lot of hard work into this game. He's been one of the top players the last several years. I got a heavy heart from him right for him right now, because you know his heart's got to be broken up there right now, but he should keep his head up. Like I said, he's one of the best in the world. I'm sure we'll see him back. And he'll just have to cheer on his boys who are in the Madden Bowl, the Ghosts, the Little Mans, and the Trinis. But unfortunately for Safa, he won't be joining them in that final event this year. Come back is Vic looking to the corner out. A nice catch made in bounds. Takes a timeout. It's not technically over, but man, what a performance here in the second half by Six Cents. He made so many good halftime adjustments, and he completely dominated the second half. He stayed the course in the first half. Didn't go exactly to plan, but he came out with a new plan. 
new adjustments, and it paid off. First down and 10. Vic driving back, middle of the field. It's Roberts with the catch at the gotta 26 the yard line. You got to kick the field goal right now. Hope for the onside kick yep. at the end. Kick the field goal right now. Hope for the onside kick. If you spend any more time trying to score seven here, you don't have the time for it. Ball is down, kick is up. It is good. It's a one score game. Safa looking for a miracle on the onside kick to keep his hopes of the Madden Bowl alive. Just pick up the ball. Picked up perfectly. Touchdown. Ball game. Six cents with the win. And what a turnaround from that 17 to 6 halftime deficit to being in the Madden Bowl. Oh man, how about the fight that these players have had to show to punch that ticket to the Madden Bowl? Tough game after tough game. But it's Kevin Jones who perseveres. Not going to be happy at all. Oh, the air cannons go off. The handshakes are had. Six cents with an incredible win. A dominant second half. He's going to get to put on one of those sweet hats, and he's going to be the final person to qualify for the Madden Bowl. He earned it, man. He's been around for a while. He's fought through adversity. Amazing, amazing performance. And let's throw it over to the fourth member of our crew, Rico Williams, with the winner, Six Sets. Congratulations, Six Sets, on that big comeback victory. Talk to us about how you feel, what's going through your head right now. I feel pretty good. I, I beat Joe and Musafa, so I guess put me in little man's group and maybe take out all EMB. <laughs> all right. Is there anything you want to say out there to your friends and family who've been supporting you? Uh, thanks to my mom. Thanks to my Uncle Jason. Thanks, Clef. Thanks, Jaybird. Thanks, CJ, and everybody else. All right, those of you on ESPN, make sure you tune in next week for the Mad